and the last kids corner. The elder says that the spirits are very, very angry about your work. Something bad will happen. I've had enough of this guy. Guess I've got the power too, huh, Mr. Elder? Your weak powers are nothing compared to the powers of the spirits. You shall see tonight. Hey, the wind is settling down. The fog is moving away from the building. Now maybe I'll be able to show that elder guy who's... (gasps) I don't believe it. Gone. Simply vanished. Both walls gone. No! And now, the conclusion of Power Trip. How's Julia doing, Mrs. Henderson? Well, her fever is gone, oh, which God, means God. she's no longer contagious. She just needs a little rest. Right. Well, what exactly is wrong with her? Well, there are germs here that you don't have back home, so you haven't developed a resistance to them. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, Julia picked one of them up, oh. but it sounds like she'll be up and around in no time. That's oh, right. Good. Good. Well, what are we going to do about the school? Yeah. Well, we keep working, right. and hoping and praying. God is ultimately in control, kids. Yeah, that's true. He'll see that his work here is accomplished. Mm-hmm. Well, it could get accomplished a lot faster if we took care of that creepy elder dude. Spike, what? even if you could prove that the elder's behind all the mysterious things that have happened at the building site, the islanders still need to be convinced to abandon their many gods to follow the one true God. Yeah, yeah. That's not going to be easy. Mm. Mr. Henderson is right. Let God do his work in his time. What's that? Yeah. It's the radio. Somebody must be trying to contact us. Oh. Excuse me, everyone. I'll go see what it is. Okay. Pastor Dan? Yes, Spike? Isn't there a story in the Bible about some preacher dude who had, like, a big showdown with guys just like the elder up on top of a mountain or something? I think you're talking about Elijah and the false prophets. Yeah. Elijah challenged the false prophets to prove whose God was more powerful. Hmm. What are you thinking, Spike? That you'll challenge the Elder to prove his gods are not real? Well, why not, Lucille? We know they aren't. They're just statues that sit on shelves. Well, yeah, Spike, but... Oh, oh, Mr. Henderson, who was that on the radio? It was the weather service. There's a tropical storm headed this way. Really? Oh. Well, it's due to hit here tonight or tomorrow. Oh, man. So what are we going to do? Yeah. Well, we'll have to get ready for it. We're okay up here. Oh, We're right. on a high point of the island, and this house is pretty sturdy. But we'll need to warn the islanders. Okay. That's perfect. Hmm? Oh, what's perfect, Spike? Don't you see? No. You can beat the elder at his own game. Wait, what? what? Listen, we just tell everyone that if they don't turn away from their idols, our god will send a terrible storm to the island. Oh, Spike. Uh, and when the tropical storm hits, they'll believe that god is more powerful than all their puny pieces of wood. Right. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Lucille. No, it's amazing that you would even think that's something we ought to do. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Lucille's right, Spike. Thank you. The elder uses fear to intimidate the islanders and oppose our work. Playing the elder's game is just fighting fear with fear. That's not God's way. Well, yeah. Well, what do you fight fear with, then? Love. Love beats fear? Yes, it does. Uh Uh-huh. The Bible says that perfect love, God's love, drives out fear and makes a person complete in him. God's love is the ultimate weapon in a spiritual battle. Oh, yeah. So, really, all we need to do is find a way to show God's love to the islanders, then. Well, easier said than done, but yes, that's God's way. Hey, you know, we better get out and warn the others about the storm. That would be wonderful, Lucille. I'll start getting this house ready for the storm. Well, let's start with Seema and Tissy. Hey, Spike, you coming? Yeah, sure. Love. Who'd have thought? Lucille? Hello. Hello, Spike here. Um, hi, T- TC. <laughs> so, um, what are you two doing way out here? Yeah. Yeah, we couldn't find you in the village. Yeah. TC and I are gathering fruit. Oh. We will need it for the next few days. What? The next few days? Yes, huh? there is a storm coming to the island. Well, huh. yeah, we knew that, but we were just coming to warn you about the storm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did you find out about it? The elder told us. Figures. The elder says that you have made the spirits angry. 
and that the island will be punished tomorrow. Great. The witch doctor's a spin doctor, too. <laughs> you talk <laughs> funny, Spike, here. Well, do you believe what the elder says about the storm? I don't know what to believe. You and your friends are not bad, and we want to know more about your god who made everything. Did your god make the storm? Our god made the earth and all the things that make up weather, too. Sometimes storms just happen, but the Bible tells us that God promises to help us through the storms that come our way. Hmm. Your God sounds like a good God. Oh, he, oh, he is. is yeah. he, he's very good. Mm -hmm. Zima, why do our gods not make promises to us? And why are they always angry? I do not know, Tisi. We must get this fruit back to the village. Wow, the sky sure got dark all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, it must be the edge of the storm. We better move fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, man, it looks like you guys have got a dozen big baskets full. Yeah. Do you need our help? Liz, these are the two that carried blocks of concrete around like they were toy building <laughs> well, blocks. Well, yeah. But... Do you really think they need our help? Well, I just thought I'd ask. Right. <laughs> you, you may try to carry a basket. All right, I'll take this one. It's just a little heavy. <laughs> <sighs> Spike here is funny. I will carry three baskets. Uh, can I ask you one favor, TC? What is it, Spike here? Can you pick up those three baskets? Please. Try not to make it look easy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I will try. Well, I can carry one basket, I think. That leaves seven, right? Oh, there's no way I could carry one of those. No way. I can carry all seven baskets, no problem. Oh, all right, really? I got to know something right here and now. Know what, Spike here? How did you guys get to be so strong? We work hard. And we eat our fruit. What fruit? The fruit in these baskets. That's it? You mean, if I eat this stuff, I can be as strong as you guys? Well, I guess it's possible, Spike. You remember when we were doing bodybuilding? Yeah. Whatever this fruit is, it must just have a really high concentration of amino acids to build muscle strength. Well, then let me at it. Get careful, Spike here. Don't drop it. Or get any of it on you. You will be unclean and have to bathe in river. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how do you feel, Spike here? Grown any new muscles yet? <laughs> I think I'm getting some really big face muscles from puckering so hard. <laughs> this is the sourest stuff I've ever had. You look really funny. <laughs> All right, what's so funny? Uh, we peel the fruit before we eat it, Spike here. <laughs> Thanks. Now you tell me. Oh, go on, guys. Let's get these baskets back to the village. Yeah. <laughs> Like some kind of commotion up there. Yeah. Well, I wonder why they're still outside. Shouldn't yeah. they be going inside? Well, look again. You'll see what the problem is. Uh, there they are. No. These are your troublemakers. Looks like Mr. Elder has called a meeting of the local pessimist society to order. And we're the first item of business. Great. Oh, no. The Elder has assembled the leaders of the village. This is not okay. good. Yeah, we figured that. You have angered the spirits. We have. They have sent the darkness and wind to punish us oh, no. because of you. Wait, All right, what? I'm going to okay, do no, no, Spike, Spike. 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 Spike, don't do it. Just don't do it, Spike. Spike. Let it go, Spike. Let it go. What do you have to say for yourselves? Well, I'd like nothing more than to stick around and have a healthy debate on the issues of the day with you guys. But my friends have convinced me that this would neither be the time nor the place to engage with you in a battle of wits. Oh, I smooth, Spike. So, you have nothing to say. Spike? Nothing good, anyway. How long must we allow these strangers to anger our gods? They must leave this island. At once. What? And because Sima and Tisi have befriended these troublemakers, they must be banished too. Wait, oh, what? That's no. They can't do sad. that. Yes, I'm afraid they can. Oh, come on. My elder, our laws require us to let the accused defend themselves before we deliver their punishment. Yes, very well. How will you defend yourselves? Yes, what are we going to do? I don't know. Well, I don't know about you guys, but in a situation like this, I find it really helpful to have a snack. A what? snack? Yeah, mind if I have some of this fruit? Uh, what? Spike, what? Spike, this is serious. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing? What are you, mm. what are you doing? Mm, that stuff is really eating. not bad once you take the peel off. <laughs> and thank you, Seema, for that tip. Mm -hmm. You other guys want some of this? You are wasting our time and yours. You must mm. defend yourselves or forfeit your right to speak. Uh. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You do? Yeah, you're wondering, is there enough fruit in this basket for all six of you, or only five? What? And to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I kind of lost track myself. But seeing as you guys are dealing with the best food fighter in the world, oh. getting this stuff on you would make you have to head to the river to clean yourself off. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? 
He speaks nonsense. Take them all away. Yes, my elder. Uh-uh, uh, not so fast. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, there's yeah. there's I am unclean. <laughs> unclean. He is unclean. Oh, there's plenty to go around here, gentlemen. Oh, oh yeah. Unclean. Yeah. Unclean. Unclean. <laughs> Well, now, Mr. Elder, I guess your friends felt like they needed to go visit the river. We wow. shall take up this matter again once this storm has passed. Oh, we'll be here. Yep. Oh, and a word of advice. Advice? Yeah, you can best remove fruit stains from clothing with a solution of boiling salt water. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's uh, one time I'm glad you used your food fighting skills, Spike. Oh, Spike go. here, that was awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Spike here. Uh, I'm just buying some time until after the storm. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out what to do next. Yes. Yeah, speaking of the storm, guys, it's getting worse. Yeah, it is. Spike and I will help Seema and Tissy get these baskets of fruit to their house. Okay. Uh, Lucille, yeah. you go on to the Hendersons and let them know what happened, all right? All right. Yeah. Will do. Be careful, you guys. Yeah, we will. Yeah. Hey, you know, I think the fruit's working. These baskets seem lighter already. Yeah, you know, it couldn't possibly be the fact that you threw half of it at the elders, guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, let's get moving. All right. Uh, what's somebody got to do to get a little sleep around hey, here? Hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. hey, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Good. But that storm is making an awful rat. Yeah, yes. Well, we can praise the Lord that you've gotten over your illness. Yes, yeah. yeah. thanks, Pastor. Amen. I've never had a storm keep me awake like this. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, do what you can to get some sleep, guys. I have a feeling we're going to be very busy tomorrow. Yeah. Busy trying not to get thrown off the island by the elder and his posse. Well, I think the islanders will have plenty of other things on their minds tomorrow. Will that the was... islanders be okay with this storm? Well, the big problem with a tropical storm is not so much the wind and rain. Oh! You could have fooled me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the big problem with a storm like this is that it pushes a huge surge of water ahead as it approaches land. Mm -hmm. We'll be fine because we're on high ground, but right. the islanders on the lower ground might not be able to avoid major flood damage to the village. Oh, it's true. Oh, wait, just what we need. Something else for the elder to plan us for. Let's no. save our energy for helping out the islanders in any way we can tomorrow. And not focus on what the elder may or may not do. Good idea, you're right. Well, I took some first aid training classes last summer. That'll be a great help come morning, I'm sure. Here, these may help you get your mind off the storm and get some sleep. What are they, Mrs. Henderson? <laughs> They're earplugs. Oh, I'll take some. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Same here. Totally. <sighs> hey, Spike. Spike! What? 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 Huh, what? Listen Liz? to that. What? I don't hear anything. Exactly. And that means... Hey, it means the storm's over. Ah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> let's right. get up and get going. Okay. Good morning, Mrs. Henderson. Good morning, Mrs. Henderson. Good morning, Lucille. Julia, how'd you sleep? Well, just fine after putting in the earplugs. Yeah, those came in really handy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready to go. Yeah, I want to see what that storm did. Mr. Henderson and Pastor Dan have already headed out to assess the storm damage in the village. Oh. They'll be back to plan how we can best serve the islanders. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the first order of business for all of you is breakfast. Oh, mm -hmm. that sounds good. And it does mm -hmm. smell good, too. Yeah. yeah. Mrs. Henderson... Do you have any of that fruit that the villagers eat? Well, yes, I do, Spike. It's in the pantry. <laughs> Good. I want to get as much of that as I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that must be Mr. Henderson and Pastor Dan. No, look, it's Seema and Tisi. Hi, guys. Oh, hi. Wow, you look wet and tired. Yeah. And what happened? What's up? Yeah. Our house. Huh? Our house. <gasps> our, <laughs> our house <laughs> washed away in the flood last night. Oh, TC no. and I swam to a tree. Oh. We stayed there all night. Oh, my. But we cannot find our mother and father. Oh, no. <laughs> it's awful. I'm sure that the searchers will find them. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. get you into some dry clothes. Uh, we'll help you look for your parents. Yeah. You bet we will. And we're going to find them, and they're going to be okay. I promise. <laughs> it's easy, like, promises to spike here. <laughs> Mr. Henderson, oh, Pastor boy. Dan, Steve oh, and Tisi just told us about their house and their parents. Yeah. yeah. There were quite a number of homes destroyed last night. Oh. Yes, and a few folks are still missing. Oh. Pastor Dan and I will each lead a search team. Yeah. Liz and Lucille, yeah. grab a first aid kit and come with me. Got it. Spike and Julia, you go with Pastor Dan. Okay. okay. We can all help treat the injured and look for the missing. Right. Okay. We'll send those without food and shelter here to stay until we can set up new houses. Okay. There's right. lots of work to do, so let's go, guys. Oh, okay. We're right behind Bye. you. Ditto. Yeah, take care. We will, dear. Don't worry, Tissy. It will be okay. 
Mrs. Henderson, tell T.C. more about the promises of, of your God who made everything and helps with the st- storms? Absolutely. <laughs> T.C. would like that very much. And Seema, too. There. Looks like a slight sprain of your ankle. This wrapping should keep it stable until it heals. Try to stay off it now, okay? I will. Thank you so much for your kindness. You're welcome. All right, I think that takes care of everyone on this side of the village. Hey, here come Liz, Lucille, and Mr. Henderson. Hey, over here, guys. Over here. Oh, hey. Yeah. How's it going? We've accounted for all those missing so far. Except for two. Yeah. Seema and Tisi's mom and dad. Yeah. yeah. Same here, I'm afraid. Oh, really? Thankfully, no one was killed in the flood I so know. far. Yeah. Well, I promised Tisi we'd find them okay. This tore me up to see her so sad. Me too. Uh, we'll just have to search in the direction of the flow of the floodwaters. Yeah. And hope for the best. Hey, wait a minute. What was that? There it is again. It seems oh. to be coming from up on those rocks. Uh-huh. Hello! <gasps> Hello, is someone up there? Yes, two of us. Please help us. Well, Spike, I think you have some good news to give Seema and Tissy when we get back. Yes! Seema, Tissy, we found your parents. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. yeah. oh, oh I'm so glad. This is so good. Oh, yeah. That's great news. Yeah. Where did you find them? They made it to a pile of rocks and spent the night there. Yeah. Where, where are they now? Can we go see our mother and father? Yes, of course. We've set up an infirmary in the village. Your folks are resting there. They've got a few bumps and bruises, but they're safe. They're safe. Just like I promised you, TC. TC, so happy. <laughs> Your God is so good, and Spike here is so good too. Whoa! Well, I give you hugs. <laughs> oh, just keep the spine in one piece, please. <laughs> <laughs> TC can't wait to see mother and father again. Well, we're almost there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad they were found safe. Oh, yeah. Your God is indeed very good. Yes, yes he is, he Sheila. Sure um, is. Hey, guys. Well, yeah. Yeah. What is it, Spike here? Look, this looks like a shortcut. Yeah. Well, I think I'll take it. Uh, oh, come on. I don't think that's such a good, good idea, Spike. Come on, Spike. Come on. Well, I have a hunch I just want to check out, oh, all right? Boy. You guys go ahead. I'll mm-hmm. just head into this jungle a bit. Okay, Spike here. We'll see you later. Yeah, yeah. later. Bye. Seema. Seema. Father. Uh, You're safe. We were so afraid for you. But Lucille's God promised to take care of us. And he did. Their God is good. Their God is false. (gasps) The village leaders are on their way to pronounce judgment. Because your children have befriended these troublemakers, they are to be banished. No, 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 you can't no, do that. No. Yeah, can't you see they've been through enough? You may banish us, but we believe that their god is more powerful than our gods of wood and stone. What are you saying? Our gods only want us to fear. They do not help us. And they don't make promises to us. Liz, Lucille, and Spike here have shown us love and kindness in the name of their god. He is greater. Yes. <laughs> yeah. My elder, we are here as you have requested. Good. And I see you have the young leader of the troublemakers with you. Oh, Present and accounted for your yeah. fakeness. Oh, I will deal with you after the leaders have pronounced their sentence. We have yeah. considered the facts, my elder, and given the seriousness of the offense, we have no other choice. No, no, no please. We have no other choice than to banish you, what? the elder, from this island. Uh, what? Uh, banish the elder? What yep. foolishness is this? Well, you know, I found something really interesting on my little side trip through the jungle just now. What did you find? Well, did you know that a tropical storm is just strong enough to blow the covering off a rather large stash of power tools and what? cement blocks? What? what? Really? I ran into these leader guys on my way here and showed them what I found. Oh, Spike, wow. you were right all along. Way to go. Yeah. Oh, and that huh. fog machine? Nice touch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Imagine this. All right. So the elder was behind all those things disappearing at the building site. That's wow. right. You have worked tirelessly to help us in our time of need and showed much love, compassion, and kindness. Your God is indeed powerful and loving, not like our gods, who offer no hope or help only fear. Wow. <gasps> Pastor Dan was sure right about love driving out fear. Yes, yes. It was. But we cannot allow you to build your school. What? what? Why, Why not? not? We demand that you build a church instead. Oh. We, uh, we all wish to know more about this God who made everything and is filled with love and compassion for us. That was oh, awesome news. Oh. And a happy day for all of us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Indeed. almost all of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Spike here is funny. And Liz and Lucille are good friends. I learned from them. I learned what the Hendersons were telling us and saw it happen in my friends, Liz and Lucille. This Jesus God they all tell us about is different than all the other gods. They tell us Jesus is the only true God. The elder is wrong. And I think the Hendersons, Lucille and Liz, are right. You know, I knew it. I knew all along that elder character was up to no good. I'm just surprised he could pull off his dumb tricks for so long. But what really surprises me more is the way Liz and Lucille acted through the whole thing. They never seemed to lose it. I mean, they were always so cool. Man, all I wanted to do was show that elder guy for what he was, a fake. But Liz and Lucille were different. They seem more interested in being patient and trusting God. Huh, I guess the faith they always talk about really does mean something. Sitting all alone, a thousand miles from home. Why God brought me here, I just don't know. I can only wait until I see his face. Showing me the way that I should go. One, two, three. Looking back on all the lessons that he taught me, I can see what he planned all along. Now I know he'll never ever leave me. I am in the place where. Oh.